Welcome back to Just Campers and welcome to our next little project. Here we have a T25, a Magnum Edition T25. Quite a rare beast. As you can see, it's pretty standard apart from, obvious, the wheels and it has been lowered. But in fairly good condition for its year, 1989, full factory spec and even the interior everything in it is full factory spec fridge rock and roll bed cup holders table all ready to go okay, so driving the t25 it's really quite comfortable um, it's not bad considering it's lowered got big wheels on it it still feels quite good it's quite a nice place to be in here got more carpet than you would do on a standard form being a Magnum. Um, actually drives quite well. Dog leg gearbox, quite easy to get used to. Reverse is quite easy to select. One big problem that I think as you can see we haven't got any power whatsoever. So in 1989 they released these with the 1600 turbo diesel engine and they were 69 horsepower, and by God, do you feel it? I've got no power whatsoever. The throttle response is really low. You have to get the thing really revving before it starts to pull. Uh, it's not breaking a sweat. We definitely need to get that sorted. So let's get back to the workshop and see what we can do. Yeah, here lies the problem. Our 69 horsepower diesel, turbo diesel. Mechanical fuel injection pump, very, very old school. So our solution is Golf GTI engine. So we're gonna remove that old diesel, get it out, bosh! And we're gonna be putting in our two litre Golf GTI engine. This is from a 1997 Mark III Golf. 86,000 miles on the clock. We know that because we've got the history so we know it's a good engine. So this is our donor. We're gonna be swapping parts over because we're gonna need all pickup and various parts from our diesel engine. And I'll be going through that process with you. But very exciting, 113 horsepower. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get rid of this oil burner. So this is our T25 1600 turbo diesel engine removed. As you can see, pretty grubby, bless it. Been in there for some time, obviously, and lacking lots of power. So over here, we have our Golf GTI engine. So this is gonna give us 113 brake horsepower. Uh, we are gonna go through this, this is gonna get serviced. We're gonna clean it up. I'm even gonna paint the block as well. Uh, obviously fresh cam belt, new water pump service items. And there are some parts that we need to take off of our original engine to get this engine to fit into our T25. And I'll cover that later with you, but it's gonna be engine mounts for sure, definitely the sump and oil pick up, and there will be a few various other items. So I'm gonna get this one stripped and get it looking pretty. So our Golf GTI engine is nearly ready to go into our T25. The next step I wanted to do was change out the fuel tank. So this obviously has got its original stinky horrible diesel tank in it. We're going to put a nice fresh brand new petrol tank in it, set up for fuel injection. There we go, one very old and crusty diesel fuel tank. 
So as you can see, there's a lot of debris on top. These collect a lot of dirt and crud on top and that causes these to rot out. As you can see, it started to rot out in the corner here. So this is our brand new fuel injection tank that's going in. As you can see, we've waxed the top. So that's to protect it from uh, all the moisture in the elements. And underneath I've stone chipped it and then I'm gonna wax it again once it's in the vehicle. So at the original tank, I took the sender unit out. Uh, I tested that and made sure that worked correctly with a multimeter, that works fine. Inserted it in here with a new seal. Uh, obviously new seals for our breathers as well. As you can see, nice new seal on the tank. And here, and a new seal for the filler neck. So our new engine is in, fully fitted. Looking really cool, we kept it as neat as we could. The really cool thing is we managed to use uh, the original mounts from the diesel engine to mount this engine into its original position. All the other parts that we sell here for the conversion at JK, obviously really handy for us because I could just go and get the parts I needed from the shelf. So the only thing we didn't have on the shelf was part of the exhaust. We had the tail box but we didn't have our manifolds into the tail box so we had to fabricate something. So I'll pop it on the ramp and show you now. So our silencer we have fitted is from a 1.9 petrol. We keep these in stock at Jess Campers. The reason we went for a 1.9 petrol is because it does have baffles inside it. The diesel original doesn't, so it would have sounded horrible. With these, it sounds really cool. So the part of the exhaust we had to fabricate was our downpipe from our manifold all the way around to our silencer. So as you can see, we've managed to keep it as neat and as tidy as possible, and loop it back round, and obviously have space for our lambda, lambda sensor to fit in, uh, and then directly to our silencer. Right, let's get it fired up, get it outside and give it a run down the road. As you may have noticed, uh, there's no leaves on the trees or bushes. Uh, funny story. So we had to send the ECU off to have the immobiliser taken out of it. Uh, we sent it off. The lovely courier actually put it in an old lady's garden and it sat there probably for about mm, two or three weeks before we realised that it hadn't reached its destination. So that put us back a little while. Also, we had to send the logbook off because you need to tell DVLA that we've changed the engine from diesel to now petrol and that also took a few weeks too and also we had some other projects in between. So seasons have changed, here we are, so we're out for our first test ride. So back to the engine, first thing I notice is how quiet it is and how smooth it is and obviously we've gained a lot more horsepower uh, so definitely a lot more fun to drive. So I'm just going to give it a little test in second gear, see how it pulls. Sounds much nicer, feels great. I think that pulls quite well. So much smoother than that horrible rattly diesel engine. Oh, much better. So this van is so smooth and so drivable now, I really believe that this is something that VW should have done from factory. Put a two litre in it. The Golf GTI engine was definitely the best decision for this van. Adding nearly 60 horsepower has just changed the whole drive of this van. Can now keep up with modern traffic really comfortably. That's our engine conversion done. We've got more exciting projects coming up this year in 2023, so be sure to follow us on our socials to keep up to date. Hopefully our next project won't take as long as this one. So until next time, thanks for watching.